Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica and I make videos all about making and selling candles. And today's video has been so highly requested for months and I just never got a chance to sit down and make a video about it. And I am so excited to share the knowledge that I have found out with all of you when it comes to international shipping. Now, I will preface this video by letting anybody watching know if you guys are not familiar with domestic shipping, so shipping within the US, I suggest you guys go watch this video that I'm going to link in a card above. This is my shipping 101 video where I break down each individual part of shipping and how exactly it works and how you can print your labels from home. Go watch that video first just so you can be a little bit familiar with the verbiage that I use. Um, otherwise, this video might be a little confusing. So moving on into international shipping. So this whole time that I have been um, open, that my business has been open since the end of March of 2020, I have done some international shipping. So I have shipped to Canada, I've shipped to Mexico, I've shipped to Italy, France, Germany, and Australia. So I have shipped to quite a few different places before, and I just kind of wanted to share my experience with it and how to ship internationally so you guys don't have to be worried at all. And the most exciting part of the whole video, I actually found out a cheaper way to ship internationally. I didn't think it was possible. I thought that I was going to come on here and make a video about international shipping and say, sorry guys, you know, there's only one way to ship and there's no discounts, there's no cheaper ways to ship. And I'm so excited to say that that is not the case and I can't wait to share it with you guys. So first things first, when it comes to shipping internationally, the first thing that you guys do need to be aware of is the list of restricted items. So on USPS.com, they have a list of restricted items that cannot be shipped internationally. So that is definitely something to take note of, and I will leave the link in the description box below, as well as everything else that I talk about today. So definitely check out the description box for all of the information that I provide in today's video. The first really important thing that you guys need to be aware of when it comes to shipping internationally is the customs form. So the customs form is there to provide a document so that your item is able to be cleared into the country that you are shipping it into. In my experience with filling out customs forms, it's really simple. All you have to fill out is just what a description of the item that you are shipping, the value of the item, the weight of the item, and the country of origin that you are shipping out of. So don't be nervous when you hear about customs forms. It's nothing scary. It's very basic, very simple. Um, one thing I did want to note is that I had heard before that candles cannot be shipped internationally. As far as I know, I've never had any issues. I've never had packages being, you know, stuck in customs because it's a candle being sent because it says right on there what it is. It's a candle. And I don't see candles listed in the list of restricted items. So I just want to throw that out there. I don't know 100% certain that candles don't cause an issue when it comes to shipping internationally. But personally, in my personal experience and what I have researched, it shouldn't cause any issues. The second difference that I have found between shipping domestically and shipping internationally is that when you are shipping domestically, which is within the United States, shipping from one state to another, you can only ship first class if your item weighs under a pound versus internationally, it goes up to four pounds. So you can use first class shipping internationally up to four pounds which is really great for us candle makers because typically candles weigh over a pound once you have everything packaged up. And first class shipping is typically cheaper than priority. So for instance, if I'm shipping out one of my 9.5 ounce candles internationally, uh, it typically weighs about two pounds when I have everything all packaged up and I put it in a six by six by four inch box. So I'm able to use first class shipping when shipping internationally. So here's the thing. When I was researching for today's video, I spent time researching on USPS.com. I spent time researching on PirateShip.com, which if you guys don't know and you haven't seen any of my other shipping videos, I love using PirateShip. I feel like they give a lot of good discounts, especially the Priority Mail Cubic option when shipping within the US. And they're basically just like a 
discount website for postage labels. You can kind of think about it like that. Um, there's no extra charge to use the site or anything. Um, again, I will link some videos down below if you guys are unfamiliar with Pirate Shit, but I love using them as a service. So I was researching on their site as well. And I was figuring out, you know, how do we determine how much it's going to be shipping to certain locations? Because uh, as you guys probably know, depending on where you live in the US and depending on where your package is going internationally, it's going to cost differently where it's going in the world. So to try to break things down as simple as I possibly can, depending on where you are shipping out to, depending on where the country is, every country will have a number. The bigger the number, typically the more expensive it's gonna be, the smaller the number, the least expensive it's gonna be. So for instance, here in the US, Canada is number one, Mexico is two. So those are two of the closest countries to us. So it's going to be the least expensive to ship versus somewhere like Australia that's going to be a lot further away and it's gonna be a lot more expensive to ship to there. So this is exactly like how zone-based shipping is with the domestic first-class shipping where if I am shipping to New York from California, it's going to be a lot more expensive to ship there than it would be to ship to Nevada, which is closer to me. So it's the exact same thing when it comes to the countries. You can essentially think about it as zone-based shipping. So of course, the further away it is, the more expensive it's gonna be. There's also many charts available that you guys can look at both on usps.com and pirateship.com that will break down the pricing based on how heavy your package is. So remember, for first class shipping, we can ship up to four pounds. So there is a chart that breaks down between one to eight ounces and then further and further down to 64 ounces, which is four pounds. And depending on where the zone is, so depending on where the country is, it tells you how much it's going to cost based on the weight of your item. Now I will admit something that I found confusing for first class shipping was I kept seeing different pricing, just a slight difference in pricing between retail packaging, retail pricing, and commercial plus pricing. So I found this on the web and I'm just gonna read you guys about what it is. So it says commercial plus pricing was a program offered by the United States Postal Service that provided highly discounted postal rates for high volume shippers. Shippers could only qualify for commercial plus pricing by entering into a customer commitment agreement with the USPS or by meeting designated volume thresholds. And as I read a little bit further into the stamps.com article, I found out that as of January, 2019, the USPS took away this pricing option and that it's only available through shipping software such as Shipping Easy or Pirate Ship. So I went on to Pirate Ship since that is the shipping software I typically use anyways, and I wanted to do a little bit more research on this commercial pricing and see if that is a cheaper option versus paying retail pricing when doing international shipping. So on this webpage right here, it says that USPS has renamed commercial plus pricing to commercial pricing, and it lets you compare the rates. And what I thought about when I was looking at this was, oh my gosh, this is so cool. You can seriously just type in the country and get an estimated cost for how much it's going to be to ship out one of your candles. So for instance, what I'm gonna do is show you guys what it costs. Let's do France. And just like we do when you're shipping out anything, the size of the box and the weight. So this is typically what mine looks like and it tells you the first class package. So it's going to cost $23.28. And as you can see right there, it says save 5%. So it would have cost $24.50 retail, and now it costs $23.28. So not a huge savings, but definitely when we're shipping international, we wanna to try to get all the savings as possible. So what I thought was, if you guys are trying to set up your shipping profile on Etsy or you know, Shopify or whatever website you guys are working on, this will give you a good indication on how to pick exactly how much to charge based on the international shipping and where it's gonna go. So you can set up a shipping profile for France and set up shipping to be $23 for one candle. And then if let's say it's going to be four pounds and you're gonna need to do an eight by six by four size box for two candles, 
then you can get the pricing there. So you can do, let's say, what would that be? Another 20, can't do quick math, whatever that would be. You'd have to add on the price on the each additional amount. And that way you can kind of go through and set up your shipping profiles for each individual country that you want to ship internationally to. So after I found out about this, I thought, okay, so this is going to be the cheapest option to ship internationally. But wait, guys, I found something else that is so much cheaper and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. So on Pirate Ship, they have something called a simple export rate. And this is not a service that you automatically get on your Pirate Ship account. You actually have to be invited, AKA all you have to do is click on the little chat button on their website and ask them to activate the simple export rate on your account. So basically what the simple export rate is is, is it's just a discounted price on the first class international shipping that you would have otherwise been paying. So there are a few exceptions. For instance, it only qualifies to 55 different countries and I will leave a link in the description box below as well as put up a photo right here so you guys will be able to see the 55 different countries that are included. So if you are shipping to one of those 55 countries and your package weighs under four pounds, and one of the dimensions of the box does not exceed 24 inches, and the total dimensions of the box does not exceed 36 inches, then you are able to use the simple export rate shipping. So the simple export rate shipping does include tracking, however, it does not include insurance. And one thing that I forgot to note before is that First Class International does not include insurance. So if you are shipping anything through First Class Shipping, it is not insured. So there's nothing different there between the First Class and the Simple Export Rate. However, I actually found out that Pirate Ship offers their own insurance when using the Simple Export Rate. So for instance, I'm just gonna show you guys an example international shipping label and the price savings, the price difference between the two of them. So for instance, I'm going to pretend like I am shipping something to Australia. It's just going to be one candle that weighs two pounds and a six by six by four inch box. And I am shipping it from California to Australia. So it is telling me that for first class international shipping, it would have been $29.75 for retail pricing, but it is offering me $28.26 to ship this first class international. So what I did from there is I went onto my computer and I wanted to make a pretend label. So I found a coffee shop in Australia and I decided to act like I was shipping out one of my candles to that shop. So I put in the same dimensions, the same six by six by four inch box, two pounds, and then I filled out the customs form. So as you guys, guys can see, the customs form is really, really simple. I just fill out what it is, which it's a candle. You put the quantity, I put one. Um, how much it weighs, I put two pounds. And then I also wanted to fill out the value of the item. So within this, you're actually able to go up into the section for extra services, and this is where you would purchase international insurance. So on Pirate Ship, it's $1.35 per $100 that the item is valued at. So after I have everything filled out, I just click on Get Rates, and it takes me over to how much this postage label is going to cost me. And honestly, I was a little blown away by how cheap this was able to go using this simple export rate. So looking at this, it would have cost me $31.10 retail to ship over to this coffee shop. And now using the simple export rate, it costs $17.49. And if you can look a little bit further down, it does say $1.35 for uh, insurance. So in total, this label would cost me $18.84, which is about a $10 savings from the regular first class international price. Hey guys, so I am editing this video right now and I realized I forgot to include this very, very important piece of information that essentially says what the simple export rate is. So as you can see on this chart, this is the 2021 rates and it shows the difference between 0.5 pounds all the way up to four pounds. And the 
real difference between the pricing chart is between Canada and the rest of the world. So those are all the other countries that are included within the 55 countries. And this really just explains the differences in pricing. And what's really nice about this is you can look at this as almost like a flat rate shipping for international first class when shipping through the simple rate program. So what's really nice about this is that you don't have to worry about trying to figure out how much it's going to be shipping to France, shipping to Australia, shipping to Mexico. It's all going to be these same prices. The only difference is going to be Canada. So in the example that I showed you guys for Australia, it came out to $17.49 and that would have been the same whether or not I did France or Germany or wherever else I did. It would have been the same amount. So I wanted to take the time to show this uh, chart to you guys just so you can actually see this because I know it's so important and I hate that I left it out in this video, but I wanted to include it now. Also, something else to note that I didn't throw in here was what the label looks like when you print it out. So the shipping label is going to look much different than any other kind of label, depending on where you're purchasing it from. So a lot of times on Etsy, the label is going to look pretty normal, but the information on it is going to be specific to international. However, if you are purchasing this through Pirate Ship, the label is going to look a little bit different. So um, it's just the way the international labels look. I'll try to put up an example right here, but it's normal for labels to look like that, completely normal. Um, and also you can format it to be four by six inch labels. So it's a normal label size. It's just kind of how international labels look. But anyways, you guys have no idea how excited I was when I found out about this shipping option. I seriously found out about this yesterday and I wanted to get um, it activated on my pirate ship account yesterday, but it was a holiday, so I wasn't able to. So I got it activated this morning and that's why I was able to figure out all this pricing. But anyways, I hope you guys learned a ton about international shipping and I hope you feel a lot more confident now if and when you do get an international purchase. It's very, very exciting to see that somebody is purchasing from another country. I love seeing it, but it can be scary if you don't exactly know what you're doing or how much to charge for things. So I really hope this video gave you some insight and definitely check out the resources and the links in the description box below, as well as contact a business attorney. Um, if you have any questions when it comes to the legal side of things, I am not an expert in that and I don't know anything about that. So I am also going to be talking to my business attorney as well to ask any questions, any legal things that I may or may not know um, that might be important when it comes to international shipping. But this video was basically just more of a how-to to get you guys familiar with it and to share this amazing shipping service with you guys so you guys can save more money when it comes to shipping internationally. But as always guys, make sure to leave this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it, as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at MemoryBoxCanico, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. The USPS completely took away this commercial price plus, commercial plus, Pricing. Oh my gosh, such a tongue twister.